G'day guys and welcome to another video. Today, you wouldn't believe it, I'm reviewing the Tigers up against the Blues. You're probably thinking, Tizia, what the hell are you doing just reviewing other games? I thought you were only in Catsman to do those reviews. I've got a little bit of time on my hands at this point in time. So, and I've seen the first two games, uh, some ripper clashes already. And I just thought I'd just get a couple of videos out, give a bit of content out to you guys. So, Hope you enjoy it. I'll keep it pretty brief, hopefully. It won't be sort of as in-depth as uh, the Geelong ones, but I'll, uh, I'll see how I go. But uh, as we can see, in the end, the Tigers got home by 26 points. The Blues came out of the blocks. They kicked the first five goals of the game, and they looked real, well in control early. They were dominant around the contest. They were moving the ball as quick as I've seen them move it in years, and it was fantastic to see them be so, so bold and brave with the football. They were really slick with their skills early on, but... Um, I expected Richmond to come back. I didn't know how much, but it shows uh, yeah, they've got great testament, the Tigers' temperament. We'll go with temperament. And they were fantastic with uh, coming back, and they whittled the margin down to, um, quite narrowly towards quarter time. And then from there, they really took control of the game. Um, Carlton was sort of hanging in there for a fair chunk of it, and then it all sort of fell apart in the last quarter. Richmond sort of prevailed, um, getting plenty... Of opportunities as we'll soon soon see in the stats. So um look Blues fans, you should be pretty happy with this effort. I know a lot of the times they put in a gallant performance against the Tigers and the Tigers just go away, but playing that way uh, certainly will get you places. Um they, they've I wouldn't think they would score this much too often. So I uh, was spilling I didn't get the hundred points because I very rarely get hundred points, unfortunately, but they look potent, they look good, but um, yeah, the Tigers flexed their muscles at the right time. They had so many opportunities, they were, so many goals kicked from, um, I guess, one end to the other. There was a lot of slick ball movement, uh, really tough around the contest uh, from both sides, and the defence was pretty decent. All their goals were seemingly um, going through every which way. Uh, but yeah, no, the Tigers, as I said, they, they really... Yeah, they dug deep when they had to, and they had a lot of opportunities. You can see 17 19, they could have won by a whole lot more, but um, they couldn't quite convert early. And um, throughout the whole game, really, it seems that they didn't take the most of their chances. But uh, getting those opportunities is the first part of the process. The next part is just start uh, converting on the day. And we'll go through some of the stats, and I'll go through some votes pretty soon as well, and hopefully keep it brief as possible. But as we can see, Blues had plenty more of the footy, a um, little bit more of the footy. Clearance is pretty much dead level, but this is the this is the stat where the game was won and lost. The inside fifties, the Tigers had so many entries, and they were quality entries. They had players out. They looked in the middle when they were running forward. They generally had a target or someone to give a handball out to, to then generate another scoring shot or a score assist. So, look, they were way too quick on the turnover and really. When I went to town there, contested possessions pretty even. It was a very tightly contested game. And uh, tackles, quite a fair few from Richmond. So they were chasing Carlton a little bit. But their quality of disposals, as you can see in the scoreboard, uh, much better and much more potent when they went up forward. Carlton looked very dangerous early. But again, uh, you sort of almost expected the Tigers to get the job done later in the piece. We'll move in the votes. And uh, look, they're the first three players. And that's not... It's a bit of a coincidence. I'll, I'll just pick him off the top. But uh, I'm giving Patrick Cripps the three votes. He was absolutely brilliant. 36 touches, five marks, all three kicks, seven tackles, and got a behind, which is a shocker. Uh, yeah, he had 25 disposals that were contested. He was an absolute ball around the contest, and when he got the footy, he Carlton looked lively. I'm giving the two votes to Dustin Martin. This will probably be controversial, but uh, Dusty got 32 touches, <laughs> five marks, kicked to goal, one goal, three. A little bit inaccurate, but again, Dusty's kicking so pristine. It's fantastic the way he goes about it. Just fending off blokes left, right, and center all day long. And uh, look, I thought he was amazing. I just thought Cripps was a slightly better player on the night, but if you're going by... The winning team, you'd probably give Dusty three, but I reckon Cripps was the standout on the ground. If no bias here at all, Cade <laughs> uh, Simpson, the one vote. Uh, look, he was winding back the clock. He just keeps on keeping on, Cade Simpson. You just think, oh, surely he'll have a down year, or surely he'll go down at some stage. But he just keeps delivering. Thirty-five touches, six marks, four tackles, and it wasn't just the numbers, but his impact on the game. Thought he really used the ball quite well. 
and he's just so cool in a crisis and he's a courageous player love Cade Simpson he's been playing for a long time and yeah so uh, if we move on to next week Carlton have got the Gold Coast and who have the Tigers got they've got Adelaide Adelaide Oval oh, gee the grand final rematch that'll be quite juicy Gonna go the Crows there, and I reckon Carlton should get the job done over Gold Coast. Adelaide will be very keen to make amends at home. Tough to go past them, but uh, yeah, that's uh, some of the thoughts on the game and the votes, and a bit of a look to next week uh, on the Blues and the Tigers. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll uh, be doing the Crows and the Bombers pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe, smash the subscribe button to keep up to date with the videos, and uh, like away as well, it'll be great. Thanks for hanging around, guys. I'll see you all next time.